Welcome back to the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. Or should we call it the Den of Gifts today? Yeah, you know, there's only a couple weeks left. Is it two, three weeks? Less than three weeks left till you know what day. That's all. Christmas is coming. So it's time to get ready. I know you got some last minute shopping ideas. So what we got for you here is the top 10 gifts for men. We got to, we'll try and do a series on this. We'll do gifts for women and gifts for the cubs and maybe even a gifts for the hound. But for today, it's gifts for men. I know we can be hard to shop for, you know, and the misses and people in your life are always asking you, you know, what can I get you? And you're always like, I don't want nothing. That's not really, you know, it's not nice to them. They want to get you something special, but you can't think of something you need. So here's some ideas, maybe for you, maybe for, you know, another guy, maybe grandpa or whoever in your life. So here's the Bears top 10 gift ideas. Number one is from Tekton and it is this punch set. Now, this is designed for the, uh, you know, the G word here that, you know, YouTubes don't like us to talk about. But it's an excellent punch set. comes in this great base. It's got laser etching in it, so you can always tell what each little piece is and such. And they've got a pin punch. They've got roll punches, solid punch, center punches, whole the whole thing there. I don't know any guy who doesn't need a set like this. You know, they're always making do with whatever we got around. It's always good to have the right tool for the right job. And if, you know, the man in your life is, is into this sort of thing, he's going to really appreciate this. All right, next up, we've got steak. Yeah, who doesn't like steak? I know. You know, you look at a cow and he's like, you know, I'm not a burger. He says, actually, I'm 24 roasts, 24 T-bones, 8, 10 sirloins. Oh, yeah, that's a that's a tasty beast right there. What says I love you more than beef? In fact, ordering, how about a whole quarter cow? Grass-fed beef from Utah. Yep, Henson Heritage Farm, just up the road from us here in, in Utah. They make some great beef, and we like to buy our beef, you know, you know, we like to get it, know where we're getting it from, A. And second of all, buy it in bulk, you know. Get good stuff, have it for a while, not be worried about, like, I'm, what am I getting from the local store? Who knows what they did with it? Here you know where your beef's from, coming from, and you're getting a good deal. When you buy a quarter, you buy a half cow, they, they can pre-butcher and everything for you. By the way, I'm going to have links to everything, everything we talk about here down below. Next up is we got to talk about bourbon. You know the bear's a bourbon bear, but you know what they say, you know, buy, buy a man a, a, a bourbon he can drink for a, a week. But teach him how to make bourbon, and he can he can get snockered for the rest of his life. Yeah, nothing will make him happier when he sees his, his own product there, you know, soaking in some wood chips, taking on that color, and coming out to be something special. And that's why the next gift idea is from Jeff King. Yeah, the, the human behind all this stuff here. Anyway, it's the Home Distillers Workbook, the best-selling book in the world on how to make moonshine, whiskey, vodka, rum, and so much more. This is the perfect gift for that that person in your life who just, it, it's terrible to try and buy for them. They never appreciate anything. Trust me, they'll appreciate this. All right, next on our shopping list. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not selling you assorted men here. But you know what all these men here have in common? They all have beards. You know what we call a man without a beard? Women. That's what we call them. Yeah. So, you know, I'm sure the man in your life has a, has a beautiful beard and nothing says, you know, manly man than having an awesome beard comb. Zeus combs here. This thing is made out of natural bone or antler and uh, they it's an eight inch comb. They come in assorted styles here. Now, they're all going to vary and be a little different because they're all natural and everything. But man, nothing says manly man like combing out your beard with an animal horn, does it? I, I think so. Anyway. Next, we got to talk about keeping warm in the winter, especially if you're on the job site. And I know we all are big fans of Carhartt here, but as we all know, it can be a little pricey. There's, there's nothing inexpensive about Carhartt, but what if I told you there is a way to take that down to that? Yeah, when we buy Carhartt for our family, we go through Super Casuals. Super Casuals is a Carhartt authorized dealer that sells factory seconds. That's like things where like a couple stitches are off or something. I, I'll be honest. I've gone through everything we've ever bought from them, and it's got to be half a dozen jackets and plus, you know, hats. And also, I've never been able to find where the, the thing is on it. I think the wife found one once, but it it's, you know, it always looks good to me. It works just fine, and that's a significant savings. And when it comes to Carhartt, it, it's more about the function than it is the look anyway. So check out Super Casuals. I'm not affiliated with them anyway, but I've been buying from them for years. I, I think they make some great stuff. Now I gotta ask, do you or someone you know suffer from fat wallet syndrome? 
Well, there's another way. Now, these people I am affiliated with, and this is Exter Wallets. They make some excellent, as they call them smart wallets. There's no technology in them per se. Well, I guess there is. That little black thing down there is a tracker, so you can use to find your wallet if you misplace it like I do. Anyway, it's a slim design with a, a special mechanical uh, assist there to pop your cards out in a nice staggered you know, situation there. That's how it works. You press a little button, they, they slide up like that. I, I thought I would never change my wallet until they sent me these. Now, we did a video on, on these part of this, uh, when we were talking about the EDC and some other stuff a while back. I, I got to tell you, man, I'm really enjoying these wallets. I was hesitant at first. I, I didn't think I was going to like it, but, you know, I'm, I'm a minimalist bear. And the less the less bulky kind of stuff I have to carry, the better. And I'm truly enjoying this wallet. In fact, I just got to snag it from the kids. They're constantly trying to steal it. Not just for the money. They just want to play with it like a fidget spinner for men. They come in assorted colors and assorted styles. Go ahead and go check them out. And if you go on right now and you, you sign up for the little membership thing, it's free. And that's the typical thing. You give someone your email address and they spam you for the rest of your life. Don't worry. You can opt out of it later. But they do give you a 30% off coupon there. So that's that's pretty handy here. You know, come in the holiday season if you're looking for gift giving and whatnot. All right, next up is Air Poppers. Yep, I'm talking Air Popcorn Poppers. I love Air Poppers. I think they make the best popcorn. Forget, you know, doing it in the microwave or all that other kind of stuff. And don't even talk to me about Jiffy Pop. That stuff's terrible. But Air Poppers are fantastic. And, you know, you just throw some kernels in there, you turn the sucker on, and it just turns out beautiful popcorn almost every single time. You kind of work really hard to screw up Air Pop popcorn. But here's the best part about it. Besides doing popcorn in there, you can do coffee. And I've done this quite a bit. You can get green, fresh, unroasted coffee beans. You can order them on, online. There's a couple places. If you're interested, I could tell you about that as well. But you can pop your own, or not pop, <laughs> you can roast your own beans in there. And uh, maybe I'll do a video on, on how to do this. But like if you go to Starbucks, you know, a lot of us, they call it Charbucks for a reason. It's overly roasted. It's burnt is what it is. There's all sorts of different levels of roasting uh, besides that totally black, just disgusted, bitter kind of coffee. Those middle roasts are fabulous. And I can show you how to do that. We can talk about that some more. But nothing like a popcorn popper that allows you kind of do that at home. Now it's going to make a bit of a mess. There's shells come off and there's a little bit of smoke. So I recommend doing it on the back porch or something. Maybe not in the kitchen unless you got some darn good ventilation. But it's a heck of a lot of fun to roast your own coffee beans. And man, it smells good. All right, next up. What man doesn't need a hat? You got to cover that head. Got to keep the sun off of it, the coal off it, everything else. And a real man wears a Panama style hat. Let's be honest about that. I mean, look at that dapper fella right there. Yeah. Anyway, and, and I, you know what? I, I Maybe I cop out or something, but when it comes to Panama hats, I like to go to Tommy Bahamas. I think they have probably the best Panama hats qualities at a reasonable price. There are companies out there that will sell you a $900 Panama hat. No. Okay. These run between $125 and $150. Not inexpensive. They're good hats. But they're not these stupidly expensive hats. I've had them for years. I love them. And, you know, it, it, it's, you know, it can cut a really, you know, dashing profile in one of those, right? All right, next up, driving at night. Now, I used to drive a whole bunch. I've driven cross-country. I've commuted. I've done all that stuff. You'd be amazed how much driving a tool bear has to do. And I got to tell you, when you're driving a lot, Having looked down at that speedometer, you realize is just really distracting. And that's why I recommend getting a HUD. That's a heads-up display. They have these little electronic units now. They, they sell them everywhere. You can get them on Amazon. I got a link to one down below. And what these do is that they, they sit up on your dash and they plug into your ODB2 port. That's the same computer port you use for diagnostics and whatnot. And they reflect on your windscreen. Now, I'll be honest. They don't look this this nice. This is some computer-generated image. But they throw a smaller, it's actually a good bit smaller image, usually, up on your windshield. Now, normally, you also have a little plastic piece of film that you put up there to prevent the double image. Because there's two pieces of glass on your windshield. And this film allows it to focus on the front piece of glass. But I got to tell you, when you're driving at night or in the evening or something, this really, really helps. You're doing a lot of commuting. You're driving long distance. Not having to look down there. You can also turn down the lights on the inside of your car. It's it's better for your night vision. It's better for everything. 
trust me, I, I've driven a whole bunch, and, and and I've used these a whole bunch. And a lot of these, like this one here, comes with a whole bunch of other functions. They can tell you your speed, their RPM, battery heat, all this kind of stuff. So it, it's not just a, a speedometer on your dash. It's a your basic in, information panel up there. And you, now you can keep your eyes on the road where they need to be. And last up, we have a very traditional gift, at least in my family, and that is the gift of a pocket knife. Now, you may have seen one that I have around here on the videos. I've got a cheap turquoise and wood one I picked up at a gas station. That's not really a, a good gift kind of knife. Get something decent, something that they can hand down to their kids. That's something like this, the one that that one is modeled off of. Off of. And this is the Buck uh, Cedar and Turquoise Knife. This is this thing is gorgeous. It runs about $200. It's not inexpensive. Comes with a nice leather sheath, you know, for you know hanging on your belt and whatnot. But this is the gift that will last a lifetime. Buck makes some fantastic knives. They make some inexpensive stuff as well. But this, this isn't one of them. This is an heirloom that you're going to hand down. Well, anyway, there you go. That's your top 10 gift ideas for dad or grandpa or the man in your life. You know, stay tuned. We're going to try and do gifts for women and gifts for the cubs and stuff like that. Anyway, if you've got any gift ideas you think the bear missed, you know, why don't you comment down below or let me know what you think of these gift ideas. Let us know if you have any of this stuff and what, you know, how you use it and whatnot. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. Don't forget to uh, stop by on uh, Sunday, 6 p.m. Pacific, and check out the Tool Talk Live we talk tool, tech, family, fun, and so much more. And thanks again for all our members, everyone who's decided to support the channel. You know, it's kind of like Patreon, but, you know, on YouTube and whatnot. And don't forget, man, don't wait till the last minute. Don't, don't be that bear. I do it all the time. We know us guys, we do that sort of thing, but don't do it this year. Don't be rushing around at the last second. Get out there, get ahead of the game, and get your Christmas shopping done early. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I hate rushing at the last minute. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.